Hey guys, and welcome to another favorites video that I'm doing vlog style. I did one of these in the springtime and you guys seem to like it, so I figured I would do it again for summer. And starting off with the most important, which is my iced coffee routine, or at least this was my iced coffee routine before tearing up my kitchen. But I've just been making a normal coffee pod, filling it with ice, and then I use my Keurig Brewer, but on the cold setting with a little bit of almond milk creamer in salted caramel, and it creates kind of like a cold foam on the top. It's so flippin' good. I mix it up. Uh, I also got some questions about this glass and these straws, which both are just from Amazon. So that is how I've been making my iced coffees lately, and I have been living off of these pretty much every morning. Now, I am also getting pretty far along in my pregnancy, about to switch from my prenatals to my postnatals, but until I do that, I am still on the Ritual prenatal vitamins. A huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring my vlog today. These are the only prenatal vitamin that I trust, and they are making such a huge difference in my blood work. It's so important to meet your nutrient needs during pregnancy, and it's important that the products you're taking are clean and also safe for your baby. The main thing I love most about it is the actual flavoring of it. I am still using the mint ones, but they're so easy for me to take, and I'm not normally someone that loves to take any kind of vitamin or pill. This is the only prenatal that I can stomach because it has a delayed release capsule, so it's nice and gentle on the stomach. It's formulated with clean, high-quality key ingredients in their bioavailable form that are vegan, non-GMO, gluten, and major allergen free. You can actually get 25% off if you head to www.ritual.com slash 25 or just use my code kaylin25. That is going to get you 25% off your first order. If you need a vitamin, definitely check out Ritual. They also have postnatal vitamins and women's essential vitamins. So if you're in the market for a new vitamin, definitely, definitely recommend. They are the only ones that I enjoy taking. In terms of books, these are some on my summer reading list. The Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune, based in PEI. This, A Summer Affair by Ellen Hildebrand, which Ryan's mom actually introduced me to this author, so I just love anything she writes. I'm actually currently reading Beach Read by Emily Henry with my book club, and it is amazing so far. The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston or Poston. It just sounds like a really cool story. Definitely recommend. And I'm also, I just finished this actually, Mama Rising for prepping for baby number two. Now, another random favorite, but one that we have been living off of, especially for my toddler, but also for me, is making popsicles and freezies at home. So I try and make new flavors, or at least I was making new flavors every week or so before, again, we tore up our kitchen. But I just got these popsicle molds. Again, I got these off of Amazon, but they're so easy to use. I've done smoothie popsicles. I've done more creamy popsicles. I've done fruitier ones. This time around, I was just using up some of the juice that we needed to out of the freezer and some berries and just sticking the popsicle sticks in and then we can have them whenever we're outside in the garden or like I said very toddler friendly my toddler loves having a popsicle pretty much every single day and then I can make them healthier by making them myself Now my beauty routine hasn't changed too much. I'm still using lots of Junk Elephant products and I will list them in the description box or somewhere on the screen just making these little skin smoothies but now I've been adding the golden drops to just add a little extra color and glow to my skin and I've been doing these little facial massages because Instagram totally caught me on it and I don't know if it's making any difference but I'm trying. I've been using the same detangler in my hair, the same detangling brush. Not a whole lot has changed, honestly, since my spring favorites in terms of beauty, but I am using more tinted moisturizers. This one I picked up from my local drugstore, and it is all right, although I have switched back over to a Bare Minerals one since filming this, as well as I've been trying the Pure uh, Concealer, and it's like halfway done now. I've switched back over to a Too Faced one, so I wouldn't say these are necessarily my beauty favorites for summer, but I guess this is more so like my go-to beauty face 
which is also kind of not even true because I've changed that up since filming this too. So I'll have to do an updated makeup routine, but I'm still kind of sticking it with the same colors and the same kind of look every single day. This is for our weather. When I do an updated makeup routine, I will share with you guys more of the products that I've been using lately, but one thing that I do tend to lean more into during the summertime is wearing more neutral colors and also doing more of a mascara eye than an eyeliner eye. So here, this is what I'll do when I'm doing a bit more glam makeup. I just use brown eyeshadow to do a little wing. But most days I'm just wearing mascara and a little bit of eyebrows and I've been using an eyeshadow crayon and this bronzer, which is like a brush and a bronzer and bronzer in one, sorry. And that has been more so my natural makeup look. So I'll do that for summer, but this was more of a full face as I was going to be filming this day. In terms of nails, I've been wearing two different nail polish brands. One is Kuo, which is the one I'm showing you right here. This has been a favorite of mine. It's like a bright baby pink. And I've been alternating between that and some other brighter pinks, some more neon pinks, and just any color that really looks nice against some more tanned skin for the summertime. But the other brand that I really love is Be Kind. So I'll swap back and forth between Kuo and the Be Kind nail polish. I'm sure I've already popped in either via text or voiceover to share some of my favorites already throughout the day so far, but this is the first little formal update. I can't tell if this is too overexposed. It looks like it's way too overexposed. I'm about to eat some lunch and I figured I would sit down and officially crack open this video. I've been slowly getting ready and just doing my shower routine throughout the day. I don't have very many favorites in terms of like my hair care right now. Nothing is like something that I am absolutely loving right now. I'm just kind of using to use up. I did get some new hair care, but it's just kind of like meh. So I didn't share it, but I have been letting my hair air dry when styling my hair. So I've done my face for the day. I have some editing to do today, which I'm going to get to right after lunch. And then once my hair is dry, I will curl my hair, which I'll do with you guys. I've been using the same curling iron for over 10 years now, longer than 10 years for sure. It's been since 2012, so 12 years, crazy. But yeah, it works and it lasts for like days on end. I normally wash my hair one to two times a week, either Sunday or Monday and then Thursday or Friday. So I'm gonna style my hair because I have a lot of filming to do this week and then it's just kind of done. In terms of favorite foods for the summer, obviously the fact that it's barbecue season, which is funny because, you know, I don't eat meat, but I do love barbecue season. I love salad season. Um, and these are leftovers from the barbecue we actually had last night. So I made some roasted potatoes. Anytime I get a chance to drive further into town, like we live a couple towns over from Ottawa. So the closer you get to Ottawa, the more stores and the more options you have. And when I do drive further into town than just the closest town that we have, I'll hit up Farm Boy and get this tomb sauce. If, if you like garlic, it's so freaking good. So we just went to Farm Boy on the weekend and I did pick up some garlic sauce. So I'm gonna put that on my potatoes. And then <laughs> my mouth is literally watering just saying it, but the thing I've been craving the most just the last few weeks or just in general, I'm calling them, they're gonna, it's gonna sound weird, but like sour salads. And by that, I mean, like vinaigrette, lemony, citrusy, like I want salads that look like this pretty much. So I've been marinating tofu uh, basically just keeping it in the fridge marinated and then I will fry it up, but then I just toss it in salad and have it cold again. But I marinated this in lemon garlic vinaigrette. And then this is the rest of our salad from last night. There's like tomato, there's hemp seeds, there's uh, onion, there's cucumber, arugula, parsley, lettuce from our garden. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm having for lunch today. And then another favorite, which I've called out a couple times in coffee talks, but this is my favorite kombucha. And obviously, you know, 
with not drinking, being pregnant, and also in general, just if you like mocktails or if you like to have some kind of fancier drink, but like something that's a step up from soda water, I love kombucha. And this is a newer flavor that I think they launched this year. It's called Orange Splash. They have lots of good flavors though, like wild berry, uh, ginger beer, and there's just like, there's like, I think a pink lemonade one too that's really, really good. So yeah, this is kind of a a nice treat every now and then. They are a little bit expensive, but I usually have one like every other day or so. Today, it is actually not really all that summery out in terms of weather. It's a little bit chillier than I was anticipating. I eat my lunch, get some editing done, and then I'll share with you guys more favorites as I go about my day. routine has been so optimized for me. I make sure to style my hair once a week and I prolong the style as long as possible. This curling iron is a Conair curling iron that I've used since I was in high school and I just took the clamp off of it and after washing my hair I try and let it air dry. I curl it and then I use those curls for two or three days, put my hair in a ponytail when it starts to get a little too messy and then I wash my hair one to two times a week and if I'm doing it the second time then I throw my hair in braids and use the natural wave of my hair. So I'm only styling my hair once a week which is great in terms of its health and then another shout out is to my robot vacuum this isn't necessarily summer related but especially with all the renovations and such and just being super pregnant this thing is keeping my house semi-clean you know right now we have to wear shoes inside because of the demolition but i still use this almost every day of my favorite activity for summer it's definitely been gardening i am so into it this year this is the first year that we've actually been ready enough and are actually harvesting this is the first time i've ever cooked with food that i've actually grown myself and it's so satisfying we've only done really small things like i've harvested parsley and i've harvested some lettuce but my favorite thing to do every day is come check on the garden. So normally I will make myself a coffee and come out here. We've been collecting all of our coffee grinds. We also have some eggshells in here. And so every couple of days I'll come out and I'll just sprinkle this on a garden bed that hasn't gotten some natural compostable. I don't, it's not necessarily fertilizer. From what I understand, and it's been a huge learning process, is that coffee helps with the acidity of your soil and eggshells. I don't know, Ryan was telling me that it, they just help. So, so I think it's like something to do with either potassium or maybe calcium. Don't quote me on it. They break down and they help the soil somehow. So I'm just gonna walk around and sprinkle some of these into the garden beds. And then in terms of random favorites, got this hat from Lulu's in 2018 I think um, it's been my favorite and this is the hat that I've been using for just be basically being out in the Sun uh, in terms of outfits today's a little bit chillier so I threw a cardigan on but I have been living in dresses just really flowy and pregnancy friendly but I've had for years like this dress I've had for years again I don't even remember when I got this dress I know I had it in Toronto I'm pretty sure um, this is also from Lulu's actually this blue dress and I've kept a lot of the same dresses but I would say dresses are probably my go-to because they're the easiest thing and the most comfortable thing that fit me especially for summer and likely going to wear them all postpartum too there is no in between for me I'm either in <laughs> Ryan's sweater and my own leggings or a giant t-shirt and leggings or I'm in like a really pretty sundress and there's rarely anything in between sometimes I'll wear jean shorts but like 
for the most part, it's this. There isn't a whole lot to update you guys on in terms of the garden, but I will just give you guys a couple little sneak peeks of some things that have changed since the garden vlog that I posted two or three weeks ago. Uh, my hydrangea bushes are starting to bloom. All of the seeds that Ryan sowed are plopping. So it just sound like I said plopping, I meant to say popping. Cabbage, look at all these carrots. We're gonna have to pull some of these out because these are way too crowded. He kind of just like threw all of the seeds in last second. <laughs> and now that they're all popping up, it's like, oh yeah, these are way too crowded. We got some broccoli here and there's a little broccoli, little broccoli dude growing in there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, cauliflower is also popping up. Our lettuce is crazy. <laughs> so much lettuce, radish, chives. We've got squash. Um, all of these are radishes. Our tomato plants. And actually my red pepper plant just, it just sprouted a little flower. My pepper plants were kind of struggling a little bit. I was a little worried, um, but they seem to be coming back around. A lot of the tomato plants have started to blossom as well, which means we'll be getting some tomatoes hopefully soon. And Ryan ended up getting the trellis that I was talking about in the garden vlog. So this is the one he got. And some of our pea plants are starting to weave their way up. We've got some peas that you can actually like pop right off and eat and obviously some more coming. So yeah, the peas are thriving. We've got some cucumber coming in, some blueberries, some baby blueberries on the bush. Little guy right here, a couple other little guys right here. And Ryan finished cleaning out the greenhouse. So we just need doors now, but the island is in here. So the kitchen, like our actual kitchen has no island in it right now. Counter space is minimal, <laughs> but this is officially out here now. And this is where it will live officially. Um, look at this. So I don't know if I've even talked about this, but when I originally rebranded Co's, changed my incorporated business to our Sunday spot. And then now going forward, I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep it, but that's what we wanna call our like little, our little farm, our little garden, our little, if we had a vendor spot, it would be called our Sunday spot where we would, you know, sell little garden things or like garden harvests and stuff like that. So that's the dream. And that's why our Sunday spot is now, that light is now living in here because this really kind of is our Sunday spot. This is where we hang out or have been hanging out on the weekends. All cleaned out in here and now we just need to put some doors on. Ryan had an extra light from his old house that we hung up as above the island. So it's really exciting um, and actually fully coming together. And I'll show you one of my favorite things that have sprouted and started growing because they are gonna be ready for the fall time. So all of these seeds that you see, all of these little sprouts along the edge, those are all sunflowers. And then this is what I'm most excited about. So that that you see there, those 10 little stalks are corn. And these ones are all pumpkin. So I feel like it's a whole, a whole new level of fall if I'm gonna be able to like make or bake something with my own gardened pumpkins, a new level of thriving for me. So excited about that. So that is it for my summer favorites. I am planning on doing an updated garden vlog with you guys, if not next, then after that, because the garden has actually changed a lot even since this update. But if there are any other favorites that I didn't include in this, then you can expect them in the next few vlogs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.